Yes, we are still in Saudi Arabia. So while we were at the airport, we couldn't leave and it was one of the most terrifying experiences ever. We have not left to come back to Canada yet. I know in my last video I said we would be back in Canada and that is just not the case. I'll explain more just now. Abdullah was up with Oliver this morning, which is why I came out of the room after. So he gave me time to like brush my teeth and just get ready for the day, which is nice. Abdullah wakes up way before I do because Oliver's been going to bed really, really late. We didn't really adjust his schedule super well to being in Saudi Arabia. But most of the time, like, uh, me and Oliver don't go to bed till about 2 and we wake up at 12. The reasoning for that and why people wake up so late here is that in the middle of the day, it's really, really hot. So you don't go out and you don't really do anything in the middle of the day. You go out at nighttime. And when we were initially trying to adjust him to like a regular schedule here, it didn't work because whenever we want to go out at nighttime, that's when he wanted to sleep. So we pushed it back a little later. So we were able to get do like activities while we were here and it's been fine. It's not like it really makes much of a difference. We're just running on like a strange schedule because of the heat and our bodies are used to it at this point. Abdullah, however, goes out and he does different paperworks and things that he needs to do, which is why we're here in the first place, was so he could get paperwork done. There's so many different things that he needs to file for and register a marriage, register Oliver, get passports for both of them, get a family. Like there's just, there was a lot of stuff that he needed to do, which is why we're here for so long. So all of it can go through. And because all of it didn't go through when we wanted to leave, we actually weren't allowed to go past the border last week. They wouldn't let Oliver go because he didn't have a Saudi passport and they said, you enter as a Saudi, you need to leave as a Saudi. So while we were at the airport, we couldn't leave and it was one of the most terrifying experiences ever. So yes, we're still here. It's been over a month at this point, we're waiting for paperwork to be processed and Abdullah's just there every single day nagging people along to hopefully get it done sooner. Also, he got his first professional haircut and it's just a bowl cut. I feel like I could have done it myself, but whatever. My little morning indulgence. Oliver also gets his. Oh, sit with me. I made these freezies, like popsicles, the other day. Oh, no coffee for you. They're just like chunks of pineapple and like pineapple juice. Nope. No, you're not having coffee. It's my constant battle with him. It's the fact that he wants to drink my coffee. While we're down here, I'm gonna walk you through what like the layout of like a Saudi house is because it is different than how it is in Canada. I don't know in comparison to other places in the world, but I know that this is the traditional thing here. One, they have garages, but they're not enclosed. They're like open with like an umbrella over your car because it doesn't really rain here. And then this is the front door where you'd enter from. And then it's this big open room. Don't mind all of our luggage in the corner. And this would typically be like a seating room for male guests. And then there's a washroom right off of it, right here, which would be like a male only washroom. You can't have coffee, baby. It'd be like a men's only washroom. And then typically this opening right here that goes to the main living space would be closed in. And then this would just be a sitting room just for men. It's Abdullah's sisters and like his mom that live here. So like they don't have a lot of male guests. So that's not really, they just have an open space because that's what makes sense for them. And you keep walking forward and then you have the dining space right there and the kitchen as well as another washroom which would be like for female guests or like people who live in the home. You notice that there's no family room on this floor because the family room goes on the upper level 
where the bedrooms are. And then there's a third level on top, which I would consider like, like the basement of the home in comparison, like kind of that flex space that you don't really necessarily need. It's the extra space. Um, and that's where the maid sleeps and, and things like that. Like it's just kind of more empty space. And then this is just another door. Also, backyards don't have grass. This backyard is like completely, let's see if it'll focus. See, it's just like completely stone. They have like a sitting area. It's not typical to have like a big backyard space because you don't typically like need it. It's too hot to really enjoy sitting outside most of the time. I'm still shocked when I'm out and I'm like dying of heat and I need a cold drink and I see other people sitting down drinking hot lattes and I'm like, <sighs> I can't imagine being so like acclimatized to how hot it is here. Okay, we'll sit in quiet now. Just me and Ollie. This is what I mean by like not a completely enclosed garage with a tent that goes over the car. That's like what it looks like. As long as you're in the shade, it's honestly not too terrible to be outside. One of the favorites, one of like the easiest things to like keep all of our entertained while we've been here has been water play. What are you doing? Don't spill it. Water play lasted a good half an hour, 45 minutes. We did it inside for about half an hour. Then he dumped the water out. We came inside because it was just getting really, really hot. We were both like overheating. Came inside and then he continued to play with the water a little bit. Um, and Abdullah's sisters came home. We just came upstairs, got him into some dry clothes and a new <laughs> pamper. And now we're gonna go make some breakfast. Right, Ollie? I'm storming the castle. I'm turning my head I am stuffed. Oliver managed to get orange juice everywhere, so it's time for another outfit change for him. We had like a bib and stuff for him here, and then we were packed to leave, and then I just never unpacked that bag, so like every single meal time he just gets horrendously dirty, and we need to change his clothes every single time just because I don't feel like unpacking all of our luggage to look for his bib. That's where we're at at this point in time, and that's how it's gonna be for the next week. Three times a day, he's gonna just get super, super messy because of this one thing I don't wanna do. But we gotta tidy the table up from the tea and juice and eggs and stuff. And Oliver is just doing this. We admittedly just sat and watch TV for about an hour and had just like our tea and stuff up here and Abdullah came home and he's just downstairs playing with and he's just downstairs playing with Oliver now Back outside, but we're in the backyard. Oliver's doing some more water play because he was crying for it. And I'm just gonna stretch because it's really nice out and I have nothing better to do and I don't really need to watch him do it, so. Wake up, Virginia, is your daddy home? Is your daddy home? Is your daddy home? Did you turn off the lights in the telephone? Telephone in the mm -hmm. telephone. Hi. 
<laughs> How fresh. <laughs> we just had lunch. Uh, we had like shawarma chicken with rice and a salad. Oliver's hanging out with his dad now outside in the living room. And I'm just going to sit here and start editing one of my Saudi Arabia vlogs. There are so many of them and I've been making a point saying, oh, I'm not gonna edit them until I'm back. I'm on vacation, let me just enjoy. And I realized one thing, my vacation was supposed to be over. I was supposed to be home now. So I'm taking this week to just like try and edit as much as I can. It's very difficult because the Wi-Fi here is not very good. So like I can't upload anything or like download any music or like do anything really. So they're only really rough edits. And it's pretty frustrating not to be like not able to like complete the editing that I'm starting, if that makes any sense. But that's what I'm gonna do. Oliver's asleep right now, but we're gonna make a cake real quick for Abdullah's mom before we head out. Like that. Shame, shame, shame. Oh my god, it's a dangerous sweater. <laughs> One hand has them cool. Wow! <laughs> Box cake is supposed to be easy and we've messed up twice. <laughs> it won't. Me and Abdullah are gonna go pop into the grocery store real quick to pick up some essentials. We've been eating so much ramen. Well, I've been eating so much ramen and I'm sick of it. I really want cheddar cheese. And that is my main focus with this entire trip. Staring out the window, reaching for a North Star, waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms, dancing to the limbo. Stuck here in the middle You tell me that it's simple But I could paint A thousand different pictures Of what is wrong But if we turn The clock's back A couple dials We should throw it's the next day. We're sitting down to breakfast now. Last night we admittedly just had cheese and grapes for dinner. When we got in, did not feel like cooking or ordering, and we honestly weren't that hungry. So we just had like a lot of snacks, pomegranate grapes, basically what we're having for breakfast right now, minus the eggs, and it was really, really good. I missed grapes and cheese so much. Here, they don't sell cheddar like in a block. They sell like, you have to like go and say how much cheddar you want and they like slice it for you or I guess they could give it to you in a block if you asked for it that way. Abdullah didn't know what he was really asking for um, and we ended up with a bunch of slices of cheese. <laughs> but it's nice to have some foods that remind me of home. I really, really miss just like Canadian food. I even bought a box of Cheerios and like a small box here of Cheerios is like $10. Crazy. The prices here, crazy. Mm hmm Is it yummy? Oh, are you gonna stop eating now? Are you camera shy? Yeah, but we don't have anything planned today. It'll probably look a lot like yesterday did. Just like a bunch of different activities, trying to do things inside. We might go to the mall later. I really don't know. Depends how Abdullah's feeling. He's at a government office again this morning. We're having issues with Oliver's paperwork because of his name. They, and we can't really switch it without going to an embassy, which is in a different city. Um, they don't like that he has a middle name. They want us to remove his middle name and ideally give him an Arabic first name. But I'm not trying to change my kid's name right now. So we'll see how all of that pans out. I bet you'll see on Instagram if I have to change his name. Or I'll say it in the next vlog if I have to. Hopefully not, crossing my fingers. But 
this is all I'm going to include in today's vlog. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you again next week. Bye.